Hey, what's going on, YouTube fam? This is LC with Law Crypto. Hope you're having a good day today. So this is my third part to the Super Farm series. I'm definitely going to create a series as price action continues and as LEO drops some new bombs on us and what the project is doing. So if you like content like this, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, comment down below if you want me to do any type of other analysis. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to follow this Super Farm uh, story. And what we can see here is if you watch my part two of this series, you would see how I found an ascendant triangle here uh, and I basically tried to clear up the chart so I took it out but we basically had a ascending triangle triangle here and what it did was break down this way and you could have took profits there if you were trading it uh, but I'm trying to look for some new entries okay so what I found now is a larger uh, uh, symmetrical triangle excuse me so let me see here let me see if I can there we go. So what I found here is a larger symmetrical triangle. Uh, let me grab a tool. So this was the point where I found that ascending triangle, but this is where our symmetrical triangle starts, right? Now I see that it hit about three or four times here, carrying this line down. So that's where I drew my line and our bottom points there, it basically touched this uh, point twice and it carried on up, right? So as I just drew it out, I started seeing this play around in this area. And yeah, I, I would definitely want to see what's about to happen next. I think sometime early tomorrow morning, uh, what was today's date actually? Uh, sometime at 20, on the 25th of February, we're gonna get a breakout out of this triangle. And I drew price targets at both regions. So if we break to the upside, you see that we have a take profit zone of $2.55 or $2.55. And if we break to the downside, we have some great entries at, well, this baseline. Let me show you here. This baseline, these are clones. So if you take the measurement of where the points first began in the triangle, that's how you get your baseline and measure that out okay and you want to drag this to wherever it breaks out so i put these there but that doesn't really mean anything right now this is just what i'm um speculating but wherever it breaks out that's where we put these these points and that's where you measure from okay so if it broke out here then you measure at this point in your take profit or excuse me your entry or whatever you want to do is going to be 18 cents but what i'm speculating is it's going to break out somewhere in this region because as you can see these yellow lines i have those are fib numbers so let me just draw another retracement okay uh, hold on we have price go all the way up here. <laughs> so if we draw a fib from top to bottom, as you can see, I, I drew in some lines at the 886, the 786, the 618, and the 382. So this actually works out perfectly if we break out to the downside and it hits our 886 right on the head. It hits it right on the head. It's like it's actually like poetry in motion type, right? But I also have this green box here because I was ready to jump in once it came back down to that seven eight six. As you can see, when we had that huge sell off when we first opened to market, uh, zoom in a little bit. So we had that first sell off. It touched our seven eight six beautifully, and then it started to. Um, have a little price action and making some more patterns so i was looking for this point to actually start to stumble back here it didn't price took it upward and like i said in my second part we have a lot of manip manipulation going on right now so like i said i am very 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 heavy on heavy on super farm but i do look at the level two and see there's some whales or some bots in there that's moving the price and rocking it up and down so smart money is going to stick on the side and wait for them to be done uh maybe they'll go over to poker markets because poker markets just dropped today but i'm waiting to see what happens with it uh and yeah once it breaks out to the upside or to the downside 
I'm gonna get some new entries to load up some more, okay? So this is my quick price update. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Um, whichever it breaks, or even if the symmetrical triangle isn't um, playing a role in where the uh, uh, price action is going, I'll update you on that, on that as well. But look at this. I'm, I'm just building off of what the patterns are telling me, right? This is a 30 minute chart, and I'm on Dex Tools. So you guys could take a look at it. Comment down below if you do some technical analysis. Let me know what your guys are seeing. And yeah, I'm going to keep you guys posted. All right, so like, subscribe, share, and yeah, stay with me. One.